listening to Heart to Heart with Saima, the podcast show for people searching for that courageous person within us who wants to be inspired by listening to stories of ordinary people doing extraordinary things. I'm Saima Dillon, your host. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to be here. Let's dive right in. Today, the show is going to be about courage, finding courage. When you have lost everything and you find yourself in the eye of the storm, and it's that time where you've lost everything and you don't know which way to turn to and you're looking for an anchor, it's always courage that gets you through wherever you are, whenever you hit rock bottom in your life. It was 2016. Um, I had just returned um, from a trip to Cancun. Um, I'd gone there with my best friend, and we had spent uh, these four days uh, just on the beach, just relaxing, um, you know, um, getting over uh, the the daily rituals and the the you know the busy busyness of our lives. And uh, we had just um, come back, returned. And uh, as soon as I walked into the house and I saw my husband and I knew something was wrong. And when I spoke to him, um, he gave me uh, this um, dreadful news that uh, um, he had to shut down his business. This was 2016 and um, it was... um, it, it it was a place, it was a feeling, it was something that we had experienced before in year 2000. Um, it was a, it was a really terrible feeling because um, I had been there before. But when we had gone through it the first time round in 2000, um, we were young. Uh, we were out of college, we had just gotten our degrees, and we had gotten involved in a business. And 9-11 happened, uh, which uh, uh, was very devastating for us, uh, because we, we just could not sustain. But we were young, um, the energy was different. In 2016, when this happened, we were, um, we, we were in our 40s. Um, and um, It was a very difficult time for us to lose everything that we had spent the past two decades building. It takes a lot of courage when you go through something like that, when you lose, when you take a financial hit. The loss is not just um, psychological, financial, it's emotional. It impacts your marriage. It impacts your children. It is devastating because you are drowning and you don't know how to sustain. You need a very strong anchor. You need something in life to come forward, to hold your hand and pull you out. And it's very difficult Because when you look around, I did not see anyone around me at that time. And I was on my own. Um, I am an optimist by nature. The experience was different for me. It was different for my husband because he's a different person. And it was most difficult uh, for my daughters because they were young. They did not know what was happening, but they were right there in the middle of the storm with us. It was an extremely difficult time. Um, I, being an optimist, started, uh, it impacted my own work as a real estate agent. I've been a realtor for 16 years and uh, But when you are right there and you see everything around you crash, it impacts you so severely that it starts seeping into everything 
that you are doing. So not only was my husband's business impacted, but that started trickling into everything else that we were doing. My girls, their lives, my older daughter, who was around 16 at that time, um, she was around 15 at that time. Um, and I felt that everything around me, including her, everything just started going down. And I just didn't know how to sustain, how to find that balance which would help me, which would help me sustain. It takes a lot of courage when you're right there and you're surrounded by, when you're surrounded by something where everything is, is falling apart around you, 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 it's, it's very difficult to find answers. It's very difficult to stay afloat. And you start going down that uh, dark abyss where there's just darkness all around you and you just don't know how to find light. Being in that space was, uh, that was the most difficult time of my life. That was the most difficult thing that I've experienced in my life because I, I didn't know who to help, how to help. Um, and all the people around me were telling me that first I have to safeguard myself because until I safeguard myself, I cannot help anyone else around me. But as a mother, it's a it's very difficult as a wife it's a very difficult thing to do where you say okay you know what i'm not going to think about anyone else i'm just going to focus on myself it feels like you're being selfish although in reality how they say if the plane is about if the plane is experiencing turbulence or this um you know um uh, there are um um issues then the first thing you need to do is you need to put the oxygen mask on yourself and to help yourself first, because if you don't and you try to help others, then basically you will not be able to do anything at all. But that's what was happening. I was trying to help everyone around me, my family, and I was drowning with them. It wasn't until 2017 that when I was drowning and um, I, was, I, I was just praying and I was asking my creator, I was asking the universe, I was asking God, I was asking the world to, that energy within me, which was so dejected that I needed help. I needed to find someone who would come and hold my hand because I was all alone. And, and there was, I, I just needed someone or something, some form of life support to come and help me. And, um, you know, sometimes help is sent to you in, in the oddest of places. And for me, that help came from um, this email that I received, um, it, it's the oddest thing because I was just praying and um, I, you know, and I saw in my inbox an email come from a title company. Um, you know, being a realtor, uh, we receive all these emails and this email caught my attention because the email said um, the $10 million agent and um, it was definitely a very attractive, eye-catching um, um, uh, subject or title. And uh, so I signed up for that class. And when I went to that class, the class was being run by Brian Dobbs, who is, um, uh, who is now um, a teammate of mine in my team. Um, and we are working together. 
And at that time, of course, um, I, I feel, you know, um, one of these coaches cl coaching classes that I took, um, the coach said, people come into your life for a reason or for a season or for a lifetime. And uh, this coach of mine, Michael Sheargold, um, these words just make so much sense. At that time when Brian entered my life, um, I had no idea um, how the little time that I spent with him, how he would help, help me, how he would help lay the foundation um, for that change that I needed in my life. And, um, you know, oddest of places, and I started attending that million dollar um, uh, agent class. And uh, Brian I, uh, started helping me. Um, and he was, um, you know, sitting there talking to me weekly, helping me regain my focus, bring me back on track, um, give me that lifeline that I desperately needed at that time. I'm very, very fortunate. Um, I have, um, I'm blessed with um, parents who are always behind me and they are my biggest support. I always say that I never have to look back because I know that my parents will be right there uh, waiting to catch me if I fall. And they've always been there. But I did not really share with them what was going on because I did not want them to worry. But I knew what was going on and I knew I had to find a way out. And um, Brian entering my life at that time brought brought initiated this change he instilled in me this feeling of hope because i think uh, hope is the strongest hope courage these are some of the strongest emotions and i think um, i i don't think we can survive life without having hope, because hope gives us courage. It gives us that strength and that ability to find that warrior, the hidden warrior within us that was lost somewhere or that was just suppressed within the layers of emotions and sentiments and feelings that are within us. And he helped bring that hope out. And he gave me this courage. At that time, Brian was just in my life for, you know, I think maybe a couple of months. And, but he lay, helped me lay that seed. He showed me hope, which helped me find that inner courage, that courageous person within us that we all have and that we all need that can help us sustain and get up in life so we can keep going. And that's what he did. He laid that and then the wheels just started turning and you know everything started um, moving and it was the beginning and it was the beginning of me changing my life and the trajectory of my life and finding that hope and courage to just completely redefine not only my real estate my life but also realizing that there's just one life to live. It's not the destination, it's the journey. And you just got to keep up, keep getting up, and you got to keep going. 
because that's just what life is. This is Saima Dillon with Heart to Heart with Saima. Thank you for taking the time out to watch uh, my show. And once again, looking forward to reconnecting again soon. Take care.